Carriage in the full-back position, Eparama Navali and Shane Ware at the wings. Barnes and McCracken, Jared McCracken back in the centres. Jason Bell and John Simon, the informed halves combination. Dimmick, Smith, Morgan, Pay, Raper and Brett Horstall in the starting 13 for Parramatta. The flu has gone through the camp down in Wollongong. Brendan Reeves, the fullback. Philly Saru comes onto the wing. Brett Rockwell and Paul McGregor, the centres. Wayne Clifford, the other wing. Sean Timmons goes into the 5'8 position and Trent Barrett moves to halfback. Brad Mackay, Terry Lamy, Andrew Hart, Craig Smith, Dean Calloway and Scott Cram. Referee Hewitt gets proceedings underway. Brad Mackay, carriage with first touch of the ball and now Jared McCracken back in jumper number four Stuart Kelly out for the rest of the season with a broken jaw set back for Parramatta and Dean Pay charges forward and Aaron Raper with the blonde hair and Jim Dimmick with no hair at all but he'll play a vital role we had a pretty brave play at that stage of the game <laughs> one carriage is glad paid off Simon John Simon makes the first break Beats one, beats two. Can he get around the fullback? He doesn't have to. Shane Warren touches down for the Eels and they lead by four points to nil, courtesy of John Simon, who sliced them wide open. Yeah, great start for the Parramatta side and John Simon playing against his former club, the Illawarra Steelers. This was set up by a good little play here from Jason Smith, who gets the ball out the back. And John Simon, as a halfback, great size and great strength. Able to pull through a couple of tackles and still keep on his feet here despite the attention of a couple of Illawarra defenders and get the one arm left handed pass away to Shane Werrett. Right arm free, offloads to John Simon, and there through the Mackay tackle, a right foot step on Brendan Reeves, a one arm tackle, and despite the attention now of Rod Wolf, is able to get a one hand pass out to Shane Werrett and he strolls over for a pretty easy try as John Simon lines up. For a conversion of the try that he just had a very big hand in. It's a tough one. He strikes it badly. It is well, well wide of the post. Tackled by Rodwell. Simon. Morgan again. Out the back for John Simon. Simon again, that step. Been very hard to handle. Raper. Back to the open side for Morgan. Who's out there? Back on the inside for Dean Pay. Pay offloads for Barnes and Parramatta are uh, looking dangerous. Last tackle. Bell, Simon, high ball. Where it is steaming through. It bounces in space. That is an easy try for Shane Werrett. Try number two. Will he give it? No. Knock on is the call. A good kick from John Simon holding up in the breeze, as we said before. Illawarra players allowed at the bounce. Straight back to Shane Werrett, and this should have been the easiest try. Yep, dropped it. I think they've got the away from Wollongong Blues here at the moment. <laughs> Strange surroundings and, a, and an informed Parramatta side playing confidently. Really have them in trouble. That's oh. the one they wanted. Hand in the play the ball. I think it was Jason Smith, the culprit. Yeah, they can make it. This can make a big difference. The penalty to get out of trouble, one thing. To get another penalty and get an attacking set of six rather than just working the play out of trouble. They find touch here inside the Parramatta half. Maybe now a nice, a nice set of six with a bit of ball movement. Oh, and again. Well. Great Street with a chance to narrow the gap. Strikes it. It's a bad kick, but the ball has gone dead. Illawarra need a good set of six just to sharpen themselves up. I'll drop out from the 20, John Simon. This is Brad Mackay back. Lickvoll on the field for Illawarra. Callaway finds Barrett. Barrett, hot favourite for Rookie of the Year honours. Big season. His first blue jumper in the New South Wales team. Now McGregor. Barrett standing wide. Ball. Reeves gets it away for Clifford. It's a foot race. Clifford gets across the line. The Steelers are back in this match. It's 4 all all of a sudden. Yeah, well, that's what they needed. They needed a good set of six down this end of the field just to snap the lethargy out of the legs. 
And it came when Trent Barrett got the second receiver at his normal 5-8 position. A nice cut out there, pass there, behind and in front of a couple of teammates. And Clifford footed it with Werrick down the sideline and showed terrific strength to pull through the carriage tackle and get the ball down. It was McGregor at first receiver and Trent Barrett at a more comfortable second receiver position, playing halfback today, but normally a 5'8". Gets the ball on the Brendan Reason. This is the money ball here. Round the corner, selectively to his winger, Clifford, who showed good pace to get away from Werrett and then good strength to come back on the inside and get the ball down despite Paul Carriage's attention. A nice hit back from Illawarra, a confidence builder, and they needed that badly. Brendan Reeves, who came up into the first grade lineup, he played the first half of second grade, gets the ball away to Clifford. Now, Clifford had already scored eight tries going into this game. He now has nine. I think he had like eight tries after just eight games in the Optus Cup. It's been a bit of a drought for him lately. The kick by Bradstreet is waved away. For all, and Mario Fennec, it's a funny game. You've just got to understand with this Illawarra side, there are, despite the McGregors and the Rodwells and the, and the Brad McKays, there are a lot of young fellas in this side playing away from home against a good side like Parramatta. Probably not the real self-belief that was necessary early in the game, but now a couple of breaks. Here's Clifford again. Clifford again, where it chases. Carriage comes across. Carriage has made a mess of it. Where it didn't help him. And Clifford gives the Steelers an eight points to four lead. They're in front. They've scored two tries to one. What's happened to the Eels? <laughs> Talk about confidence. You give them an inch and they're going to take a mile on you. On the second tackle from the restart, like ball across the field, gets a beautiful pass away to Clifford, who has lost nothing in pace to Shane Werrett. We've spoken about his running credentials. And Paul Carriage, for the second time, can't get a handle on this flying Illawarra winger. And he races around and puts his right underneath the post. A good run across the field. You'll see there where the winger Werrett came in on a tackle he didn't have to make. That gave Clifford space down the edge. And Clifford easily steps back inside Paul Carriage, who was found wanting in defence there. And Clifford, he can't believe his luck. Two tries in the space of a minute. Good ball here. See Shane where it went in there. McGregor had that split player in defence, where it had no reason to go in. That provided space down the outside. And he can run this fella. Kenny White. The flags go up. And Illawarra in front by 10 points to four. Joined by the Premier Bob Carr. In the grandstands to watch this contest between the Eels and the Steelers. Horsner. You're going to see plenty of tries scored today. Raper. Finds Dean Pay. Carriage. Because Parramatta are no stranger to being behind on the scoreboard early in games. Dimmick, great ball for John Simon. Simon once again showing his strength. Collins for the corner and Collins gets there. He gave the little in and the away and then went over the try line. Big effort there by Collins. Everybody here in the Western Grandstand are getting their money's worth today. All the action down this side of the field. Two tries to Parramatta in this corner. A missed opportunity to Shane Warren. Two tries for the Steelers. Look at John Simon's strength here. The awareness to pick up his winger with a nice little in the way there on Clifford. He thought for all money he was going to try to step back on the inside. Raper, Simon. On to Dimmick. The first try was Smith back to Simon. This time Dimmick back to Simon. And great strength behind the line. Finds Collins and look at that for a little in and away. He's a good player, Steve Collins. Think about this, Clifford thought for all money he was going to come back on the inside. Virtually a replica of the first try in the game. Simon, strength. Long ball out to Collins. Collins, will I come inside? Nope. Going outside. Try. How will he strike this one? He strikes it nicely but still waved away. Barrett takes it to the line. And Andrew Hart forced to go to ground with it. And young Adam Ritson enjoying his football. Carriage into a bit of space. And great to see Adam Ritson now back in the workforce. Held down in the tackle, so 
They play on Mario Fennec. What's the news? Well, it's a critical period of play for Illawarra. We've got about 11 minutes to go before half time. They hold the lead, although they probably don't deserve to. They've got to make sure they control this Parramatta attack at the moment because they can ill afford a try now. Then pay on the inside for John Simon. Steps around Reeves. Raper! Aaron Raper gets the try. The Eels are back in front by just two points. Plenty of tries to come yet, though. This game a long way from being over. Well, it, it may be a long way from being over, but Illawarra have got to come to terms with the ball-playing ability in this Parramatta pack because John Simon is having a field day. First it was Smith, then Dimmick, and now doing play have all put John Simon into space. And with his strength and ability to pick up support runners, three tries to the Eels, and this one is right alongside the uprights. It'll be a six-pointer. He's played a hand in every try by Parramatta. The flags go up, the crowd cheers, and the Eels go further in front. Into the half-time break, five seconds to go. Just one tackle left. Six to go, though, the referee says. McGregor, loose ball. Aaron Raper comes up with it. Well, the end of a fascinating first 40 minutes. Very entertaining. I don't know that Brian Smith will be happy with Parramatta's last five minutes. And Andrew Farrah has a big job in the dressing room at half-time to convince this Illawarra side they can still get up and win the game. Play underway. John Simon, big, deep kick. They have the breeze at their back. Felisa Roo brings it back. Very important time. Stating the obvious coming up for both teams. 14 points to 10, Phil Gould. Who's going to dominate? Well, you know, you've got to favour the home side in close matches like this, but it really gets down to Willowarra season. They've got a very hard run in front of them. It's a log jam back there in seventh space. Not that Parramatta are feeling comfortable, but they know they're going to be there semi-final time. You'd expect a little bit more desperation from the Steelers in this closing 40 minutes. That's a good start from Smith. Horsnell. Shoulder charge by Smith. Dimmick. A little more sting in the Illawarra defence and in their running game. See Hart coming in there with a very good shot. And Scott Cram. A couple of good runs to start the, the second half. Here's Werrett back on the floor. Shane Werrett. Now he uses his pace, Werrett. Can he get around the fullback? Reeves did well. Slowed him down. They got him from behind. Raper. The John Simon. They are on a roll. He gets rid of it to Smith. Smith to Bell. That's a super try. Referee Hewitt has called it back. I thought the pass was OK, the final one. Referee Hewitt, well, he simply disagreed. Well, I'd say he's got a call from his linesman here. I think with the Illawarra player racing through, it could have given the impression this ball has gone forward. Jason Smith is down injured. Great take and juggle. Try for mine. Parramatta got the breeze at their back. I've been able to glean a little bit of information from the Parramatta uh, trainers. Brian Smith uh, not all that happy with uh, with Parramatta knocking off, as he said, uh, for a period of play. He said, if you're going to win this game, you've got to be on for the whole 40 minutes. He said uh, he wants to uh, run at uh, Trent Barrett. He feels that Trent Barrett is, is a guy who uh, can be uh, beaten in defence, and he wants to see that happen in the second half. It's Mario Smith. That's Barnes. In fact, Dimmick coming up with the tackle. Brings a big cheer from the crowd. McGregor breaks down the left-hand side of the field. Inside ball. They'll score. Rodwell touches down for Illawarra. This has been a strange game of rugby league. Yeah, we can put this try down. I mean, I know it was great defence from Jim Dimmick. But his teammates didn't support him. Jim Dimmick on the previous play came in with a tremendous hit. And from that ensuing play, they didn't line up on the far side of the field. A long pass from Barrett across the ruck. Found space for McGregor down the left. And Rodwell here realising that the flying Shane Werrett was on his tail. Changed direction. But a beautiful ball here from Trent Barrett. Right across the face of the ruck. Back to McGregor, who's able to get on the outside. On the outside of McCracken. Been playing in the forwards. Couldn't foot it with the international centre. Inside to Rodwell, a tremendous support player, and just the start that Illawarra needed. They've begun this first half with a lot more vigour than they started 
well, begun the second half with a lot more vigor than they started the first half. What's the difference there? Shane Werrett. Lovell gets involved. Sean Timmons. This is Bradstreet. Oh, there's a bit of sting in that defence. Barrett. They'll go wide. McGregor. McGregor. Finds Lamy. Barrett, the dummy. Oh, Bell! Bell has the intercept. Has he the pace? I think he has. Jason Bell goes for the line and he gets there. Bell just got there. Photo finish. It's a try. Eventually, the crowd, they get the cheer. Two disallowed. He had to give that one, surely. 18-14, the Eels in front. Yeah, well, Trent Barrett here took the odds for the pass on tackle five. Jason Bell had gone up, as all players should do. Leave the kick reception to the fullback and the wingers. He went up, he's got his rewards, and pulled down. Yep, slid, put the ball down, no problem. <laughs> and put the hands up in the air. I thought Timmons might have got him, but Bell shows surprising pace. Knew he was quick over 20 or 30, but he kept going for 60. Yeah, well, he held him for the first 30. That was important. Then Timmons had to make up five yards in 25. Not easy to do. What's the slide? Yep, try. Yeah, try. If he can kick this, Parramatta can think field goal to close it out. He's oh, missed. John Simon. Plenty of time left for both teams. 17 minutes and 41 seconds. It's been a very, very good game of football. Bell. Find Steve Collins. Another one of the young players who's made his mark for Parramatta this season. McCracken. Taking on that role of the back rower for that tackle. John Simon pushing that pass on the inside to Horsnell. He did well to hang on to it, Brett Horsnell. Former Seagull and Crusher. Well, Referee Hewitt taking no action. Simon, loose ball, Smith. Barnes, Navali for the corner. Does he get there? Referee Hewitt says yes. And Parramatta, they score in the corner. But don't put your money on the kick. Well, when we get vision of this, you're going to see what a champion footballer is. Jason Smith. Not only goes back to retrieve this from his side, but can't wait to get up and promote the football. And that really catches Illawarra Nappy. Oh. It's close. John Simon, a selective pass that goes behind his teammates. The ball could have been won by Illawarra. Jason Smith gets back, retrieves it. Down, up, pass. No thought of just protection of the ball. And that's why great players turn games. Here's it, Navali. He Try. scored for sure. No doubt about it. Eparama Navali. Oh, Jason Smith, what a pass. Yeah, that's a try. That time he made no mistake. John Simon. This is coming back for John Simon. He's a genius, John Simon. He gives them the lead. Kicking it from the sideline. They go further in front, the Eels. A couple of quick changes in the Parramatta side there. Jason Bell left with an ankle injury. Collins with a dislocated thumb. That Trying hit. to get McGregor into space. McGregor around McCracken. And close to that sideline, McGregor just stays in. Back now for Barrett. Bradstreet for Barrett. Oh, simple knock on by Timmons. And inside the 10, so. Yeah, big bonus for Illawarra. And there. they're inside the 10 again. If they touch Barrett, they should have taken them on. Timmons. Barrett again. Smith. Oh, Smith one on one with Simon. I thought he was a chance. Reeves. Short ball. Barrett held up by Carriage. Troy Campbell around the leagues. 
24-14. Callaway. McGregor's hard to stop from here. McGregor, he is hard to stop. And McGregor goes across. The Steelers, they are not dead yet. But really, they should not have dropped off. Yeah, well, I'm going to point to some illegal play here from the Illawarra side. They did this two rucks in a row. Go back to the play of the ball. You see the Illawarra player standing in the play of the ball there. We just allowed Callaway to get out from dummy half and provide some provide some space for McGregor. Now, he had to get through a lot of tackles to score the try. But you see the Illawarra player standing in the play of the ball there. That's a ploy they use quite regularly. It just holds the markers up. It makes your defence have to come in instead of sliding out. It doesn't make up for the missed tackles on the edges of the ruck, but it gives you the space you need. Callaway was able to get out of dummy half, get McGregor one-on-one -on, -one on the edge of the ruck. A dummy, a bad miss by Nathan Barnes. Jason Smith up over the top. And Illawarra, they're not dead yet. Important conversion. Eight minutes, 56 on the clock. Before 18. Great streak. One from three today. He has kicked it. So Illawarra get to within striking distance well and truly. That's a quick play. The ball got it. Craig Smith. He'll look to pass. Does so. McGregor. Look at him go, McGregor. Yeah, good work, Jason Bell. Playing with a sprained ankle, but he got out of dummy half there quickly to get McGregor, who created space down the right-hand side. Last tackle. Reeves. Barrett. The longer kick this time. Looking to pin Werritt. He's got some work to do, Shane Werritt. Can't get out of his own end goal. Parramatta going for 12 in a row. Looking to get on terms with Manly at the top of the table. Illawarra looking to stay in touch with the top five. Craig Smith. Great charge. Was playing rugby union up until four years ago, Smith. A fair bit of rugby union skill there. Reeves, the chance for the Steelers. They'll level the scores. The Illawarra Steelers level the scores at 24 apiece with Parramatta. Well and truly, what a game. Craig Smith, rugby union skills to the fore here. You would have to ask if he was held. Parramatta were running back in defence. Off to Reeves. Reeves looked to be held up over the top. He gets one out the back. Adam Bristow. And Adam Bristow just onto the field very shortly. This is right from the line dropout. Pretty soft defence from Parramatta. A good kick over the halfway. And here comes Smith. Likes to run to his right-hand side of the field. Bustles through, pulls that right arm. Jason Bell had him over the top there and let him go. Now Jason Bell gets Reeves over the top there and lets he unload again. And then Barnes, for the second time, can't stop a player over the top in defence. And Parramatta have surrendered a 10-point lead in the space of four or five minutes here. Well, time off now. 24 apiece. I'll tell you what, Brendan Reeves, has he had a game? Now he gets a chance to break the deadlock. Probably justice here if Reeves can slot this one over. Can he do it? It is just wide. 24 all. Reeves Trying to again. get themselves into field goal range. Mario Fennick. The critical thing for Illawarra though, they need a good set here. They've got to advance this football and put a kick on the end of it. Mackay. Dean Pay. Mackay keeps it alive. Was he tackled? Referee Hewitt says no. Reeves. Craig Smith. Can't offload this time because Jason Smith grabs him around the throat. Barrett thought about the field goal. McGregor. Timmons. Timmons a little kick. Barrett. Here's a chance for Barrett. That's a sensational try. It could be the try of the year. Barrett scores. Spectacular rugby league at its very best for Trent Barrett, the young superstar. That's why he's a superstar. The winning streak comes to an end. Trent Barrett, he raced up into row G, jumped over 20 fans, back onto the field, and scored the try.
What an effort. Oh, I don't know what to say. He's back on halfway, Trent Barrett. Shapes for a field goal from 50 metres out. Throws it to McGregor. And this was always going to be trouble. Timmons runs towards Saru. Gets the kick out. Or Bali, sorry. Trent Barrett, soccer skills. He's had to go out <laughs> to Road G to get around the corner post. Dies back in field. Oh, what a rugby league try. Well, it doesn't get much better. McGregor. Can you believe this? Timmons. Timmons. Down the sideline. Barrett. He's run down the outside of the field. Dived in field to take the ball and put it down in the corner. Now Timmons. Left foot. I can tell you, if you're a youngster out there and you want to make a lot of money, go and practice your goal kicking. You might not even have to make a tackle. Oh, what an incredible win for the Steelers. It's been a big effort. 28-24. Now the Eels led by 10 with 15 to go. Short kickoff, no good. 28-24. Well, this will shake up the Optus Cup. You can't blame the Steelers for wanting to slow the ball down. Play on now. It's the final eight seconds. Scott Cram goes away. That's the full-time siren. The Steelers celebrate. 28-24. The winning streak comes to the end. The Eels with two tries disallowed early in the second half. Still, it's in black and white now. 28 24. The Steelers, now they rocket up the Optus Cup table.